Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm with, in the Peruvian Amazon on a six-week expedition with the British Exploring Society. And today I'm going to talk to you about living in the jungle. So um, I'm going to go through the areas of the base camp, first of all. And this is the landing area where um, we land with a boat. So this is the, the river Madre de Dios, which um, we took to come uh, from the village to our base camp. And then we have this teeny tiny little beach and up here on this side, you have the Olivetti River. So this river here, it's a smaller um, river, um, is where we take our water, our water supply. And this supplies us water for washing up, for drinking and also for cooking. We also use the area just a little bit um, above, hidden away a little bit, for, to take a bath and it's nice and refreshing after a long day work in the forest. So from the landing up to base camp, it's about 100 meters up. It's a steep hill, but it keeps us nice and fit. So here we are in base camp and if you look around you and above all you can see is a wall of green. So in base camp we have no permanent structures and we just put up tarps and tables and chairs that we will use and we will take away with us when we've finished our expedition and hopefully we will have no footprint of us being having been here for six weeks whatsoever. So this is Paddington Bear and he is my assistant base camp manager. It's important to know that this bit of forest where I'm standing is a secondary forest which means that it was all cleared away to make way for pastures and uh, cattle ranch and today 40 years on it's all um, regrown into, into a forest again. So I'm standing here now in the science hub where we conduct all the science projects including butterfly surveys, um, camera traps and photographing insects um, in this white box. I'm now going to take you through to our stores. This is where we store all the food and equipment. It's really important to protect the food from rain and also from animals in the jungle. So all our um, food and equipment is stored in these, um, in these boxes, they're sealed, so rats can't get to them. And uh, the thing about rats is that apart from being dirty, and of course we don't want them, is that they attract snakes, which we certainly don't want in base camp. This here is our kitchen, and um, this is where um, I cook most of the meals for the base camp crew and the young explorers cook in their own camps outside um, the, the base camp area. So as part of uh, the expedition meals I try to make really healthy and um, well quite yummy meals for the young explorers and the leaders to enjoy. Um, so um, we always have the same thing for breakfast and lunch. Um, we always have porridge in the morning and soup and crackers for lunchtime but in the evenings we try to vary it um, because you know we need the extra nutrition but also um, it's a nice way to for the teams to get together and chat and socialize so um, in our case tonight's meal is going to be chicken curry in the jungle it's really important to keep up the hygiene good hygiene um, if um, if you don't then you could get really ill very fast and then everybody else will get ill so what we have um, is um, hand wash, first of all. Um, we also have a three bowl system for doing the dishes. So first of all, we have a red bowl. Um, this is where we wash the dishes with some uh, washing up liquid. Then we have a blue bowl. In this, we put some water, which uh, with some Clorox, which is um, bleach diluted with water. That's for disinfecting the dishes. And then finally, we have a green bowl here, which is just water for rinsing. So this is my sleeping area and I have chosen to sleep in a hammock which is off the floor and then I don't have to deal with creepy crawlies underneath. 
Um, this is um, specifically a jungle hammock, which comes with a nice mozzie net. Um, it also has a, a, a rain tarp on top to protect me from the rain. And of course, in the rainforest, it does rain quite a lot. It's quite comfortable. As you can see, it has these um, strings on either side, which means that I can actually lie slightly more um, diagonally, which gives me a little bit more of a flat area to sleep in. So now I'm going to talk to you about jungle essentials, equipment that you need to carry with you throughout the day and night in the jungle. Um, so one of the things that you need is a nice sharp machete. And this is quite good for cutting, clearing a path if you have to go through deep, um, thick jungle. The other thing that you need to carry is a pen knife. It always comes in really handy. Um, there's a lot of different kind of uh, tools on this and it's always good to have it on you. Um, another very handy tool is a compass. So here we are, uh, have been told that if we get lost in the forest, we look at our compass and we go east. East is where the river Madre de Dios is. And if we go towards the river, then there's a good chance to be found. Whereas under the canopy, it's really difficult. I also have a whistle on this one to attract attention if I get lost. Um, at night time, you need, of course, a torch because it gets extremely dark and you can't find your way. And finally, in my case, I have my lipstick. You never go out without one. Here in base camp, we have a few pets. They're actually obviously not really our pets, but they belong to the jungle and we're actually in their territory. So for instance, here we have a little hole and in there lives a tarantula. We've named him Terry. We also have a cat-eyed snake, which is a, a very thin and um, inoffensive snake. And we've called, her, called this um, snake Catherine because it's a cat-eyed snake. To go to the toilet in the jungle, we need to, ha to dig a latrine. There's one here just behind me, um, behind the top area. And a latrine basically is a hole in the ground that we yep. dig. And it's about two meters long and about 50 centimeters deep. And that's where you go to the loo. And um, because we don't have any way for anybody to know who's in there and who's not, we have a system where we put a bag filled with toilet paper and if it's sitting here by the, the tree, it means that it, the latrine is free. And if the toilet paper is in there, then it means that you have to wait and queue. Life in base camp is very busy and it always revolves around other people being there. So you really don't get any, any privacy. So here in Explore Within, um, I've tried to create a little bit of space so that people can come and just sit quietly and have a little moment to themselves on their own. So as you can see, life in jungle can be really busy. This is Sarah, signing off from Life in the Jungle.